The way the class usually works is I give them an assignment and I tell them you have to budget food for one week on top of rent and electricity and transportation. I wanted to take it a step further this time and have the individuals experience it themselves. So the assignment was you will be given a $25 grocery card, you need to budget and figure out how you're going to make meals from $25 and try to make healthy choices. I just because it just gives me a little bit of appreciation for what I have as opposed to what people uh, uh, that are less fortunate to me have. My mom was on, I tell everybody, my mom was on food stamps and she told me how hard it was but now I actually see a lot more. It's, it's, sometimes it's overwhelming. I'm just thinking I can't have lunch anymore. I can't have my tea. I, I don't want to buy tea. I don't have money for that. I have to ration everything. I have to start penny pinching. Just focusing on the financial assistance, it's not that much. It's just a couple dollars per meal. The first day when we went grocery shopping, everybody had to put something back. And it was, it was embarrassing. It was a sacrifice. You had to hold up the line. I was really nervous that I was going to exceed the $25 limit. I had to put a can of black beans back. For people who live this, I'm sure it's very nerve-wracking and almost embarrassing if they have to put items back because they can't afford it. The big question about food stamps for me is, is it sustainable? Like, I won't have health complications in the future, and it's not looking pretty right now. I was there for two hours, and I was really trying hard to get things that were healthy. Most people don't have that kind of time. People really don't have time to to make the right, the healthy decisions for food. It's impossible to get all your nutrients, um, at least far, as far as what we've seen with the class. Like you want to choose foods that make you feel full, and those foods not aren't always um, healthy for you. So, I mean, staying staying full is, is also another challenge. And I had a decent amount of produce because I was vegetarian. I don't know how I'm going to get my protein, my calcium, my iron. Eggs is the closest thing to meat I got, and beans. but. The only way I would be able to make my, meet my iron needs is if I got um, iron supplement, but that's not covered by food stamps, so I can get it. My strategy was to kind of buy items that could be used to make multiple meals. I bought squash, like green squash, and two cans of tomato sauce, as well as some pasta and some ground beef. I bought some things that I could make like tomato-based meals with, so that I didn't have to buy more ingredients. You no, know, I didn't uh, think I'd be this hungry. Breakfast has actually has been just a tangelo every morning. Um, maybe one day this week I'll have my one Greek yogurt that I have. Eating whenever I want is, is something I definitely had to give up um, and you know it's very difficult to do that. It's to, to plan out your meals and make things stretch and knowing to put it away whenever you maybe want a little bit more but you know you can't because you have to let it, you have to make it last. I'm craving a lot more. Studying is becoming a little difficult. Everything I picture is food. I'm really hungry, like all the time. <laughs> you don't realize how little food it is until you actually try and cook it all together and make good meals out of it. The Department of Health and Human Performance and the Honors College were training the next set of health professionals. They'll be better able to understand the food choices that the, their low-income clients and patients are making because they themselves have gone through a week of in their shoes basically. Something that's actually interested me a little bit uh, that people are living like this and you know to be do a little bit more research into it and kind of look and see uh, maybe there may be a future in, in some kind of nutritional research. Because I want to go into community nutrition, I, I think it will be a good it will be a good experience to have to be able to relate with some people, know what they need, know what they're going through, know what they're missing. You know, not everybody on food stamps is, uh, is abusing the system. I don't think the average person understands that it is a problem. Like I was talking to some friends, and they're like, "Oh, people on food stamps, they they spend their money money in other places, and they can get good food." And you know, I'm like, "Well." Actually, no. Like I'm, I'm only spending my money on the food for the week, and I'm having a difficult time. I definitely think about my mom and what she actually went through. It's not a walk in the park. It's not fun.